So ankle brachial index. <clears throat> do it yourself. A lot of do-it-yourselfers out there, and it's appealing. It's you don't have to listen to us in our unending debates about what to do. You just do it yourself. Uh, here's how you do it. This is, this is from Stanford, by the way. You can look that up on Stanford. They've got a great thing showing you how to do it. Step one, and I've got a video showing you exactly how to do it. But I still left people confused. They didn't know how to. People got really wrapped up on how to average out the numbers. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Um, get, an, get an automated blood pressure cuff. Lie on the bed, five minutes, measure your arm pressure, measure your ankle pressure, and repeat for at least three measurements. I did that. Uh, as you can see, my systolic on my arm was pretty right there, 110. Now there's two ways, you, there's more than two ways, there's several ways you can look at this. You can, the simplest way is just take the average of the systolics and, put, and compare those two. As you see, my, my average on my systolic here was bouncing around a little bit more, but it was higher, uh, about one point, what, what would you say that it averages out, about 123, so 123 over 110, 1.1 1 .1 or something like that. So here's the numbers. Here's how you look at those. So, <clears throat> did, did that show me as having a significant plaque problem? No. So, uh, so basically, if my, uh, mine was one, my systolic average, just taking that the simplest one, 123 over 110 was greater than 1. So, I'm normal. Here's the thing though, uh, you can actually get higher numbers due to calcification. You can get lower numbers in either direction. You gotta be aware of that. Number two, you gotta think about what we're using this for. If this is for somebody that's, hey, do I have plaque? Um, you wanna know if you have a low level of plaque. We already know. Well, at age 57, I had the plaque of a 73-year-old. And do you have any plans on how you're going to move forward with the information or in your... Okay, so part of the conference was if you wanted to participate with like blood tests and the CMIT, again, that gives you another depth of knowledge of, of how you can now move forward and improve upon your blood test and maybe your arteries. And with some quantitative knowledge. Okay, so that's something like, you're thinking about. Oh, absolutely. I okay. mean, I've been kind of doing that, but I haven't had the CMIT yet. Okay. And so, yes, and get more diligent about it.